The artificial intelligence that we use in hearing aids today is completely different than what we had just a few years ago. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how artificial intelligence in hearing aids keeps getting better and better. Nowadays, you'd be pretty hard pressed to make it through an entire day without hearing the term artificial intelligence. I mean, pretty much everything incorporates some form of AI. Think about it. Car company Tesla uses artificial intelligence to drive your car for you. Their full self-driving mode will take you from point A to point B. It will change lanes. It will past vehicles, it will go on off ramps and on ramps, and it literally does this on its own. And more recently, Apple announced that their iOS 18 will have Apple Intelligence, which will be a personal intelligence system for iPhone, iPad, and Mac that combines the power of generative models with personal context to deliver intelligence that is incredibly useful and relevant. But you may be surprised to know that hearing aids have actually been using AI for well over a decade now. So I'm gonna take you on a brief trip down memory lane to explain exactly where we've come from with the use of artificial intelligence and share with you some pretty exciting news with where we're at today. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, I would really appreciate it. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I publish a ton of new videos every single week. That being said, it's really appreciated and a huge shout out to Oticon for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. To put it simply, artificial intelligence is any technology that enables computers or machines to simulate human behavior and intelligence. Technically, there are many different forms of artificial intelligence, including reactive machines, limited memory AI, artificial general intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning to name just a few. As an example, when you're watching Netflix, they're using machine learning to identify your viewing habits so they can predict better recommendations for you in the future. This is why Netflix keeps recommending different scary movies to me and military documentaries. While my wife Ashley keeps getting recommended whatever shows are similar to Bridgerton and these cheesy romantic comedies. Not only does this form of artificial intelligence increase the likelihood that I will enjoy the movies that get recommended to me by Netflix, but it prevents me from having to sift through a ton of different movies that I could care less about. When it comes to hearing aids, the simplest form of artificial intelligence has been the automatic classifiers that identify the acoustics of your environment and switch your hearing aids into different program settings for you. For instance, if you go from a quiet environment where your hearing aid microphones are picking up sound from 360 degrees and then go into a noisy environment, the artificial intelligence inside of your hearing aids will likely be able to identify all of that background noise and force your hearing aid microphones into more of a directional mode. This this form of AI was a major advancement in hearing aid technology because it virtually eliminated the need for a hearing aid user to change their own programs, which a lot of individuals struggled to do. And you know how Netflix used machine learning to curate a better recommendation list for you on their platform? Well, some hearing aids can also use machine learning to customize your audio. You would do this through a smartphone app where it would give you different A-B comparisons that would change the audio of what you're hearing in real time. And after you go through enough series of these A-B comparisons, it would use machine learning to customize your audio. Basically, this is you using artificial intelligence to train your hearing aids how you like to hear. However, one of the biggest jumps forward that we've had with artificial intelligence inside of hearing aids is the use of a deep neural network that is capable of performing deep learning, like the one developed by Oticon, today's video sponsor. Oticon's deep neural network, originally launched in 2021, was a first within the hearing aid industry and took a completely different approach to sound processing that overcame the limitations of human developed sound processing algorithms. A deep neural network has many neurons that are grouped into what are called layers that process information. The more layers a deep neural network has, the more complex it is, and the more deep learning it's capable of performing. To perform deep learning, it requires that we train the deep neural network, which requires these four steps. Step one, feeding different sound scenes into the deep neural network. Step two, forward propagation of these inputs through the different layers to process the sound scenes. Step three is the production of an audible output, and step four is backward propagation of these outputs for further improvement of the sound processing. 
Now I know this sounds complicated, but it's really not because it's very similar to how you learn. When you learn something new, you're provided with an input of information and then the neurons in your brain start to communicate and form connections. This is the forward propagation. As you continue to learn more, your brain takes the information that it has, refines it and strengthens these connections. This is the backward propagation. Eventually your brain takes this learned information or output and stores it for future use with short-term memory and long-term memory. The goal of this deep learning inside of Otakon's deep neural network is to preserve the amplification of speech cues while limiting the amplification to background noise. Otakon fed their original deep neural network with over 12 million different sound scenes, so their hearing aids could handle pretty much any acoustic environment you threw at them. But Otakon has upgraded their deep neural network to version 2.0 that you can find inside of their Otakon intent hearing aids that is a significant upgrade to their original version. And they did this by improving the training of their deep neural network. First, they used a greater diversity of sound scenes to better equip their hearing aids for what they would encounter in the real world. And second, the analysis of the output in version 2.0 is more refined as well, now having 256 different channels versus 24 channels from the original version. The greater resolution that resulted from this meant that the deep neural network was given better feedback, which resulted in more accurate learning. This allows their new updated 2.0 version of their deep neural network to better emphasize meaningful sounds while suppressing non-meaningful sounds. This means that their new deep neural network is more capable of producing a clearer output while preserving more speech cues. It's also now capable of producing up to 12 decibels of noise attenuation in complex listening situations without incorporating distortion as opposed to only 10 decibels from their previous generation deep neural network. Now if this concept of a deep neural network is completely foreign to you, let me break it down a little bit more simply using an example of a dog. Take a second to think about how you personally learned how to identify a dog. At some point you were exposed to dogs and you began to learn different characteristics of dogs like how they looked, how they smelled, how they felt to the touch, and how fast they could run. Eventually you learned that animals with these different characteristics fell into the category of a dog. As you got older you were probably exposed to many different breeds of dogs like schnauzers, poodles, German shepherds, pugs, pit bulls, etc. Now let's take a step back here and let's imagine that you had to explain what a dog was to someone who has never actually seen a dog before. You may be able to generally help them understand what a dog is so maybe they could identify a dog just by seeing one, but would you be able to explain it in such great detail that you could help them understand the 360 different breeds of dogs? The reason I bring this up is because this is kind of what it's like when a sound engineer has to program a hearing aid algorithm to identify different characteristics of sound. As it turns out, it is much easier and more precise to feed a ton of information into a deep neural network and let the deep neural network learn all of this information for itself. This way we are not limited by an engineer's ability to define the different characteristics of sound that we're trying to amplify for you. Overall, it is mind boggling to see how far we've come with artificial intelligence inside of hearing aids. As time goes on, the continued evolution of artificial intelligence inside of hearing aids means that hearing aids will continue to get smarter and smarter, which will allow you to hear better and better. So if you're the type of person who wants to hear your absolute best, make sure that you find some hearing aids that harness the power of artificial intelligence to make that a reality.